YouTube, it's your boy Fishing King Hook City TV. You know I got my main man with me. Hook City. It's going down, man. Look, I thought about something. I'm out here on the lake, catching a few crappie, doing my thing, right? And I thought about it. I said, hey, I know a lot of people have a hard time catching these crappie in the middle of the summer. We call these the dog days of summer. It's 99 and a half degrees out here. It's hot, it's the middle of the day. It's four o'clock, the fish are on timber and they're not wanting to bite. What are you doing to make these fish strike? Well, I'm glad you asked. Cause coming up, we are finna get this thing figured out. So y'all sit tight, go get your popcorn, your drinks, your red cups full of water. Cause we gotta keep it healthy now, baby. Your boy Fishing Ken. Let's get into what I'm gonna do to get these fish to bite. Like I said, we're fishing timber, which is one of my favorite things to fish, especially in the summertime. Um, you get into this deeper water on this timber, uh, these fish are biting. They want to bite. They're there. You know what I mean? But certain times of the day, they just totally shut down on you. And there's a few steps I take to try to get these fish to bite. I'm not going to say I always get them to bite, but I've been crappie fishing for long enough that I kind of got an idea of what I have to do to get them to bite. So. Let's start in on it. What you got there, Dad? Yeah, one. Uno. One. Now let me ask you a question, man. You mind mind if we talk to you for a minute, Hook City? Yeah. Before we go too far, let's uh let's take a commercial break and make sure that's a 10-inch crappie. Okay. Now y'all know Dad is notorious for dropping down during my intro catching a fish. And true to form, there is a keeper. And what we're doing, man, we're not using live wells in the summertime. It's just too hard to keep these fish alive, to keep them well. So what we do, we keep a cooler full of ice. He oh, 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 there's a donkey in there. We're gonna add him to the to the donkey pen. We're gonna get a we're gonna get a quick interview from Hook City himself. So so Dad, aka Hook City, if you would tell the people, cause they want to know. These fish are, are, are finicky biting. What did, what did it? Okay, wait a minute. What are you using there? You got what a ten foot ACC uh, 10 crappie foot stick. ACC crappie stick. Okay, is that a Shimano Sienna one thousand? With using? a Shimano one thousand. What kind of line you got there? Uh, Power Pro line. Power Pro. I think that's ten pound. Yep. Which is equivalent to two pound mi uh, mono diameter. And what color are you using here, man? The blue and then. Uh, oh, you, oh, you got that freaky blue from. From a Billy Morgan, a, a Billy Morgan. aka Crappie Punisher. Yeah, it's a Billy Morgan bait. Okay, so they're they're finicky, are head. you? On a pink head. Okay, are now are they are they finicky right now? They real finicky right so now. So what is it that you did you think to get that fish to bite? Well, right now I'm using a uh, power bait, Berkeley power bait, the nibbles. The nibbles. Yep. Got to have a little bit of scent, guys. A little bit of scent right now, especially if you're not going live bait. The minnow is doing the job, so I'm gonna drop down here with him and see what we can come up with. Of course, we got the live scope. I don't have the, the uh, sonar on right now. We're trying to conserve battery, but we're gonna drop down on him and see what happens. All right, guys, just to reiterate, what Dad was talking about was the power, the Berkeley power bait. Uh, Berkeley, give me a shout, man. I need to holler at you about this because I use these things. But what I like to use is the white. We also have a chartreuse and de crappie the other day with one of the last videos we did left a blue glitter. So it's all scent based. Uh, I think it might even have a little taste for them, guys. Um, and then on the back, it just shows you how to thread it onto the hook. We add it to our. Um, our uh, jigs. So what I'm using is an eighth ounce. Same thing. I'm using Power Pro line guys with the old school ACC. Um, but what I'm using is is this old funny tail uh, jig made by, and I put I put it on the bottom there because I don't remember Strike King. It's a Strike King bait, a little paddle tail, a little swim tail, um, something that's just giving me a little action while it's down there. I want to do whatever I can to aggravate those fish. And what I did is I bit off half of the front half. I want to make it a smaller jig. So that's one thing I want y'all to take note of. Whenever these fish are finicky, I usually downsize the bait and I add some type of 
uh, taste and smell, especially if there's a, if I'm not using live bait. We're not using live bait, no minnows on the boat today. So the two things I'm doing right here, I'm gonna bite that jig off uh, about halfway down the body, and then I'm gonna use the power bait nibbles. So let's get one of these on to see what's going on. Oh boy, big fish. Big fish. Well, was a big fish. The way he was shooting up, he looked big. Doggone it. Patience, guys. Patience. That's what you get. Now look, I know they say with live scope you can pick the you can pick the size, but as y'all know, Daddy, we don't trophy fish. No. We grocery fish. That's a 10 piece. No biscuit. No, I don't have to have a bunch of 15s. No. I just have a bunch that's legal to clean. If he, over 10. If he, if he legal to clean, I ain't worried about him being 15. Here we are, guys. We got a tree chock full of fish, man. Chock full of fish, and they just want to nibble, nibble, nibble. Look at there. Pulling my clothes off. I quit using the nibbles, and sometimes I'll even try uh, just scent. Ooh, what you doing over there, Hook City? Oh, baby, oh. baby. Yeah, he got he got the sickness. Yeah, yeah he got the EBG. But hurry up, get him off the boat. <laughs> I ain't trying to catch whatever he got. Yeah, he got a little everything. Yeah, he got a little issue. Let me show the people what's going on. Cover my mouth. I don't want nothing splashing in my mouth. Let me see. Yeah, put him back there. He been messing with them little nasty girls. Yeah, yeah, we don't need no fungus. Mm -mm. All right, we don't need no fungus among us. Boy. I'm back to my old ways, guys. Let me turn where y'all can see my face real good. I'm back to my old way. Now I'm thinking I got this camera going. And you know it's been a long time since I gave y'all a real good heat haul, right? Yeah. Come on, we finna go in the cool. What? Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Look, he's still, look, he's still in there mad at me. Stop now. I need to pick you up. I need to pick you up. Hey, oh. Look in his eyes. He meant it, boy. He slammed it too, guys. Man. That's all right. We got, we got another one coming up. That ain't going to be the last donkey for the day. Man, freaking don't be another yellow bass. Dang, that ain't yellow. no yellow bass. That ain't what, no yellow bass. What, what color bass is it? Ooh, get him in here. It ain't no yellow. <laughs> it ain't no. That's a white bass. That that's a flopping bass. Let me see. Hold him up tight. Lord have mercy. So we went to we went with natural, like I said earlier. There we go. Let me see. Went with natural, like we said earlier. What's that? The blue ice, right? Blue ice. Did you have a nibble on? Yeah. Bingo. Blue ice and nibble. Put him in, my friend. Big old limb right there. Fish sitting right under it. You right on top of it. Oh. That is, come off of the hook set oh, a little man, bit. Man, man, man. Come off of it a little bit. Come off of it a little bit. You're going to rip it right out of them. See there? You got him? Yeah, I got him. <sighs> Today ain't the day for it, y'all. They don't want me to show y'all nothing. I'm having a fit because everything is right under the surface and it's hard to get to. Right, to, hard to get set up on it. I finally, do get the bite I need and don't land the dog on fish. That's fishing, guys. Fishing frustrations. Okay, here we go again. Let's see about this one, y'all. All right. Good God. I'll tell you what. 
How sweet it is. How sweet it is. So again, guys, we, we did switch it up to the silver and chartreuse, and I went ahead and bit it. I noticed I hadn't bit it off yet. So I bit it off, made it a little bit shorter. It also protects you from the short strikes. They try to nip at that tail, unless they got some, some precision mouths. They're going to nip at a little piece of that hook, and that's all I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a special kind of bite. If I feel pressure, thump, flutter, any of that, I'm setting hook. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Jesus, God. Lord, are y'all seeing this? Y'all hear the quiver in my voice? I'm about to start crying. Y'all Y'all gonna see Fish and King cry. I'll drop another one of these fish back, man. I just wanna hold you. I'll put you back in the water, dog. Guys, I think this is literally the worst day of recording I've ever had in my life. I'm dropping fish back, and I'm catching these donkeys. And I'm not recording. Look, I'm even turned the wrong way. I, man, I, I got it bad today, y'all. Pray for me. Hee-haw. God to mighty, mighty. I missed it again. My bell flipped open when I set the hook. I, man, I'm dropping fish back. Everything is just happening. Then I think I might have tore up my trolling motor, y'all. We'll, we'll say that for another video, but... This one's in my hand, so... I'm going to put him in the bucket. Let's go, baby. I need a freelance free cameraman is what I need. <laughs> yeah, I need somebody that can make sure it's recording at all times. Golly. Yeah, but. Boy, this is hurting my little old feelings, y'all. I ain't lying. Man, let me nibble up. See if I can catch one on camera for y'all. My bad, Hook Cities. My citizens. For him. I'm working for him, but dog gone. Yeah, I'm gonna need one. All this talking I'm doing after missing, missing and wishing and hoping and loping. Dog gone. I mean, and they slamming it too, boy. Look at her. Look at her. Go another one. Camera better be rolling this. Oh, look here. And this this what I catch on camera, y'all. <laughs> this is what I get. That ain't no <laughs> If he is a keeper, he ain't got many filet on him. Well, no. No, ain't no 10 inch fish. That's what I catch for y'all to see. My bad, y'all. It ain't all top secret, I promise. Should be right over here. Yeah. You can go. Bingo. All right. Come on, Dad. That's all right. You're doing the right thing. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, Dad, we just taught somebody something. Listen, man, if you're fishing with a 10-foot pole less than 20 foot down, 16, 18 foot, and some kind of way your line gets wrapped around your reel and you can't reel, you grab that line and you pull it. Pull it and then raise up, man. Let's see what we got. That's a double for the day, man. That should be two keepers, too. Two tennis shoes. No, that's a yellow. Now he can come on. Ooh. Hee -haw. Yeah, that's a yellow. He gonna turn yellow with that cornmeal on his belly. You gonna put cornmeal on his belly. Yes, sir. Come on. Finicky yeah. to crispy. Y'all see it? Mm. Little. Mm -mm. Big enough, ain't he? He big enough, ain't he? Stop now, stop, stop. You're going back. I'ma cool y'all. Better not be 10, my friend. Oh, he got to go in. Mm. Oh. 
like that fish came out. Bro. Say, oh, man. No, don't say oh man. Say oh yeah. Let yeah. me hear you say oh yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> don't say oh man. Say oh yeah. That's a keeper. Jeepers keepers. These fish they'll be spooking. Again, they're finicky. But this live scope is showing me. Again, I'm using that live scope with the uh, 1222 Garmin. Shout out to the bass tank if you need any kind of electronics. But what I'm noticing, man, when I pull up to these trees, these fish are spooking. So what I did, I spot locked about 10 foot right my, I usually spot lock around five foot away, especially if they're not, uh, if they're not scary. But I had to spot lock it at about <clears throat> 10 foot away. I swung it out. As long as you're in the cone, guys, you can see it swinging back into that tree or into that pile or whatever your target is. Saw it swing back, held it right over the top of that fish and yank. Woo! Jesus! Boy, I can't get enough of that. Some say it's cheating. I say we eating. Let's go, baby. There he is. As soon as I turn the camera on, take my time with him. Bring that horse up. All right. Shwego. Ooh, wait. Wait, wait. Man, it's hard leaving these fish like this, but I got to go, y'all. There's one thing I left out when we're talking about finicky crappie. And that one last thing is persistence, y'all. Persistence, persistence, persistence. You got to stay at them. You got to be that fly in their face, just nagging, nagging, nagging. Because if, they're, if they ain't eating, I always tell people, fish don't have hands. If they ain't eating, you nagging them. They want that stuff out their face, man. So what are they going to do? They're going to eat it to get rid of it. That's all I need them to do. I'm just trying to trigger a bite. So with finicky crappie, y'all, make sure you have a nibble. Make sure you downsize if they're not eating your two inch or three inch base that you regularly put down there. And number three, be persistent, man. Y'all saw it here first. It's your boy Fishing Ken, my main man. We out here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your boy will be back with another video real soon. Let's get it.